Okay, today I'm going to attempt to do an oil change on a Mercedes Pagoda 230SL. I've never done it before. I kind of figure out how hard can it be. Um, if you don't have a ramp or you don't have electricity in the garage, which I don't, I use a Hamer lifting system, which basically just uses four tractor jacks on either end, allows me to jack the car up. You don't actually need to put the car up on a ramp to do an oil change, but it certainly helps. Before you start, make sure you've got everything you need to actually do the oil change. Um, I'm going to put Castrol XL 2050 in there. 20 litres costs £100 on eBay, and the car holds about five and a half litres of oil. It's much cheaper if you get it in bulk. Next up, I got the filter from Mercedes. Um, this particular filter comes with four washers, one for the sump plug, one for the long bolt, and one for the filter housing cover. And it comes with a spare washer, which the 230SL doesn't actually have an oil cooler on it. If it did and you were changing the oil in that, you would use the fourth washer. Now, don't make the mistakes that I did by not having all the parts when you start this job. First of all, when I took the old filter out, it did actually have one seal on top of it, this one here, but this seal is hard plastic. It should be flexible rubber and it's rock solid, so that's not doing anything. It should also have a rubber seal inside there, which this particular car didn't have, which means that the oil filter wasn't actually doing much. And the second thing I noticed is the big ring here sits really deeply in this ring here, almost to the extent that it looks like there isn't a seal in there, but you must remember to get that seal out before you put a new one on top of it. Otherwise you'll have incredible difficulty when you come to try and tighten this up. Um, the other problem I ran into was obviously when I started the job, I didn't realize you need a specialist sump bolt removal tool and a 17 mil socket, which does this bolt and also this here. But this, because it didn't have a washer on it, the last person who did an oil change had tightened this up so tightly that it was almost impossible to undo it to the degree that I actually thought maybe it had a reverse thread on it. So when you buy a filter, you can just get these filters from German, Swedish car parts, they're about four quid. So say I got mine from Mercedes with all the washers and bolts and costs about 10 pounds. So just a quick summary on what it costs and what you need to change the oil on a Mercedes W113 230SL Pagoda. I bought a drain plug set from Euro Car Parts, £18.99. You can probably just get the plug you need, which is 17mm on one side, 14mm on the other side. Um, I also got some plus gas releasing fluid or penetrating oil. It's really good stuff and I'll be using it for lots of other jobs. That's 4 99 So I did this in three lots. I'm just making this video so you don't make the mistake, mistakes that I do. The, the filter you can get from Mercedes, it's part number 000 0018000009. The filter from Mercedes costs £9.30. It does come with all the seal rings um, and the copper, copper crush washers, which is an advantage, but you can get that cheaper on eBay. When I took the filter housing off, um, I realized that I needed the top sealing ring, which was rock hard on mine, so that part number is 0018433380, and it's the rubber washer that sits on top of the filter. Next up, I realized that I didn't actually have any rubber washer inside the filter. So the rubber washer that sits down at the bottom of the, of the filter housing is 0018417780. And that costs £3.95. Apparently, according to 
the diagram, there's also a rubber washer that sits inside, which is this little thing here, 1843280, costs one, nine, one pound and five, but I didn't actually use that one, it didn't seem necessary. The shim that sits on top costs 195. You can get all of those things either from Mercedes or from eBay. But don't make the mistake I did. Before you start an oil change, get all the parts.